Scott again with another video, this one about my old Ford Ranger, a 1998. And if you've got a Ford uh, a Ranger or some of the other cars, uh, trucks have the same problem. When you have the heater on and you want to turn it to cool, it stays hot. When you turn it down here, it stays hot. In the middle, it's hot. No matter what you do, it's hot. When you have it on air conditioning, on mine anyway, it will go cool, but it uh, if you ha if you don't have it on air conditioning, if you have it on any of these other settings, it's hot, and it gets really hot. And so I'm going to show you one way that may solve that problem, and it's with the uh, the air blend actuator, which is behind the glove box or if you're older just call it a jockey box so you get all the crap out of here all the stuff that you haven't used in a long time oh even an old pocket knife look at that some uh, yeah some floss some fuses I have no idea what those are okay something for some reason and I don't know if you have the same thing. You need one light bulb and they only sell it in twos. And you'll have that for 10 years and never use it. There's another one. Bought two, need one. So, when you've got these, oh, and there's an extra down there. So when you've got it like this, you pull this in so that tab comes out. Pull this out tab comes out. Oh, there's probably something more you're looking for. And then up here, right here, is the actuator. So there's a little... Okay. There's a tab you push down on that. And you pull that out. Okay, yeah, actually on this one, um, it was like, it was in like this. Well, if I can turn it around. It was in like this, and you actually push up on that, and it pulls right out. And this up here, I've watched a bunch of videos on this, and they all say you just need to pry up. There we go. See if that'll pop up. There. Just popped up right there. I don't want to break it. Okay, the reason it didn't come out is because in the back there was still one connector hooked in. So I'm going to pull this out. So there were um, some little um, snap-on pieces right here. Uh, you can see this red dirt. The people that owned it before lived in the desert and got all kinds of red dirt on it. But anyway, so there's the post. Got some red dirt in it. But, um, so you have to pop out, pop, pop this off of all four of these or it's not going to come out and then you, when you pull it out you're going to have to lift up this side like this so pop pop all of them out put a screwdriver underneath clear to the back and pop off this one and then pop off this one so it's straight back about a, oh, maybe 40 percent of the way from this side so put a screwdriver back there pop it up clear in the back pop it up and then you're going to have to pick it up so this piece right here comes out of the hole and then you can pull the whole thing out. And so this is usually the thing that uh, is causing the problem. I'm going to go down the store now and, and see if they've got one. One other thing you can do to test is uh, plug, plug it back in and then turn, turn this back and forth and see if this thing turns. If it turns, um, this is probably not the problem. 
it doesn't turn, it's the problem. Let me show you how. So, plug this thing, plug this thing back in. And turn the That's annoying. Okay. So we're going to to watch this post right here. Yep, can you see it turning? It is turning. So I'm guessing I can take this apart, clean it up, and it will probably work fine. So instead of going to buy a new one, I'm just going to open this thing up. Um, there's some clips on each side. One here, a couple right there, two right there, and two right there. I'm gonna open it up and see what it looks like. Okay, so let's get these. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Get a smaller blade. Oh, it's slick. Well, there we go. It is going to work. So I have to kind of just pry that up and out. Well, I'm going to try something else. Okay, I'm going to try a smaller screwdriver. Oh yeah, that works much better. Pry that up and over. This up and over. And that up and over. My sense is that this has just got so much dirt in it that it's not working all that great. Yeah, be careful when you do this. Depending on what blade you've got so you don't cut yourself. Okay. Almost there. Yeah. There we go. Okay, you now you want to make sure you keep all these components in the right places. So you're probably going to want to wipe them off and then mark where everything lines up. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. some of that grease off. Got a permanent marker, so I'm going to just oops, mark those two. You probably only need to mark one of those, but I just want to make sure I'm not messing it up. Okay. So then these just pull right off. It doesn't look like a lot of dirt in there. Now yeah, there's some. You see a little bit of gunk in there. So I'm just going to 
wipe off all of this stuff and put some new grease in and see if that will solve the problem without having to buy a, a new one of these things. And I don't want to erase my marks. Try to get all the sand out of it, although this, it's a lot better than I thought it was. Be really careful not to bend some of this stuff. Just wipe off as much as you can. So you could go buy a new one, but since this one actually works, um, I'm just trying to clean it off and put it back in and see if it'll perform as installed. I was actually quite surprised to see the thing move. Quite a bit of old grease in here. There's a little bit of stuff. You don't want to get anything on these right here. Uh, no grease at all. I think it won't make good contact. And there are some cleaners for that. I have no idea what they call it. Actually it looks like it's got grease on it now. But someone said you don't want grease on that, so I don't know if that's been part of the problem or what. You know, I just wiped some gunk off these I don't know, those transistors or resistors or what those are. But they were pretty much covered in this goo. Just get those really clean. I'm gonna pull this thing off. See if I can get that a little bit more clean. better. I'm going to try to get this old grease out of there as much as I can and put some new grease down in there. See if that will make a difference. I can't reach down in there with my finger so I'm going to use, you know, try to gently use this little screwdriver and try not to wreck anything while I'm doing this to get some of that extra grease out. I'm just kind of wiping out all those components. And wipe out some more of this grease or by this round hole. Let me get some of that old gunk out. Okay. It actually looks pretty 
pretty good. And this, I think this just lifts right out. Oh, you have to be careful and not. It's got some things these these two plugs just push down into. You have to be careful not to mess those up. I'm just going to pull that up and wipe the grease out without trying to take those things out of the plugs. Okay. Clean out some of the base of this. It didn't have a lot of sand in it. As much as I thought there was going to be, there wasn't there wasn't much, which is good. But you can see the dirt down here, it's mostly from the outside. I'll wipe those off carefully. Make sure you're good and clean. Okay, I turned it. I wonder I couldn't find a way back. Okay. Just make sure those those pins go through those two holes. Okay, I don't have any lithium grease, which is what I, I've heard you're supposed to use. But I do have some uh, flex shaft lubricant. I'm going to try this and hope it works. Probably won't be as good as the grease that was on it. But we're going to try it. Okay, put some on the top there, some on the top here. I'm going to put this down there. And this right, push down through there, and you just have to, oops, put this in there first, and hold it up, what are we doing here? Okay, this looks like it's going to turn okay. Does that look like it's lined up? Maybe, maybe not. There we go, that's better. Okay, now let's put the top back on. And okay, that's all in. Hopefully that'll work, and we'll go back and install it. Okay, so I've got this back ready to go. I'm going to plug this in one-handed. <laughs> okay, I'm going to plug that in. 
And now I'm going to... Okay, so we're gonna see, make sure this thing turns still. You can see that turning. Probably easier to see up here. Oh, it did. Oh, we've got an issue right here. This isn't down. Okay, let's see if that's still turning. You can see it turning slowly there. And turn back the other way. Bring it over here. So I'm turning this back. and forth and hopefully you can see this thing turning I'm going to turn it this way and you can see the dirty spots turning across my finger okay so that looks like that's working so now I'm just going to lift it up angled like this so I get it in and then I'll put it back so this goes down the hole Where the points are to plug this thing in. Uh, I'm gonna have to just pause this and show it when it's in. Okay, it's up in there. So if that doesn't fix it, you may have to change the resistor, which is another place in the in the place back there. And if this doesn't work. I'm going to go and get a new resistor and we'll change it and show you how to do that. Just one last thing. Remember, to get these back in, you just have to push those in while you're pushing pushing up on this and it'll shut. Hope that helps. Uh, if you want to see some more, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and tell me in the comments what you want to see and I'll see you next time.